Gmail Part 2 – How to Use the Gmail Contacts List This tutorial shows how to add contacts to the Gmail Contacts List and how to use contacts in the list when composing Gmail. The Contacts List in Gmail makes it very easy to send emails. I'll start a new email to demonstrate. Click Compose. As you start typing the name that you're sending the email to, Gmail searches your contacts list and finds matches in either the name of the contact or the uh, email address in the contact and then displays both those things in the uh, listing here that you, and you can then choose one if it's the one you're typing. So if I were sending, for instance, an email to myself, it found it already, all I have to do is click there and I'm done. I don't have to type anything else. It does that for all the emails in your contact list, all the contacts in the email contacts list. I'm not really going to uh, send this email, so I'll go ahead and trash it. Now I want to show you how to uh, manually add a contact to the list. You click Gmail and then you click Contacts, then you click New Contact. Add the name of the contact, uh, no name. You have to type something in this field, otherwise it won't save it. Now you need a uh, email address that's valid to be able to save a contact. So let's just use mine. So now I need to type my email address. Now one thing you want to remember when you're typing information here is don't uh, try to exit the screen before you get off the line you're on. It does not save the line you're currently working on. You have to get off that line first. Notice I got off that line and now it says your two, three changes to no name have been saved. Uh, I changed the email address maybe and I maybe changed the name at the top. So there were two things that I changed so now it says I did save them so you don't have to worry about it. Now let's go look at the contacts list to make sure that my new contact is there. Click contacts and let's just go to the whole list contacts. Okay. Now let's go down and look for the one I just typed, which was a single name, no name. And there it is. There's the new contact. Now, I don't want to really keep that contact, so I'll show you how to delete contacts from the contact list. Any you want to delete on this list, check this box. Then go uh, where it says more, check the symbol, then check delete contacts. It says if it's more than one, it says how many got deleted. If it's just the one, it gives you the name of the one it just deleted. So I did delete it. Now, there's a way to add the sender of an email to the contacts list. And here's how you would do that. Let's go back to our Gmail list. If I wanted to add the sender, Foscam, to my contacts list, I would hover here. This is Add to Contacts. It would bring up uh, the new entry form, and, uh, and it was Fuscam, so you do need to type the name. But it's already filled in the uh, email address for the company. So that's all you do. Again, you have to uh, get off the line you're on, so it'll save the line. And when you do, it says your two changes have been saved. Now, the two changes were I typed in the name, and it typed in the name of the company. So there were two changes to that new contact. That, will, that just got added. And again, I don't want to keep that contact, so I, I will go delete it. Now, let's see if we can delete that con We can delete that contact from this screen, I believe. Yes. If, you're, if you just typed all that information and saved it, you still can get rid of it here. Or you can go back and check it in the main contacts list and get rid of it there. It's just as easy to get rid of it here. Now, let's make sure Foscam is not in that list. No Foscam. So it, we did delete it. We deleted it without actually leaving the, li the screen that we were typing it in on. So remember, you can do that if you go well, up at the top where it says more, one of the options is delete the contact. Okay, so that's how you delete contact. That's how you enter the contact manually. That's how you enter the, the uh, email address of a sender of an email to your contacts list. There's one other way to do it. I'm not sure I recommend it, but if we uh, 
let's go back to the main screen. The main reason is this screen needs to be wider to show the gear wheel. The contact screen has to be wider to show the gear wheel. But if I go back to the main uh, inbox, that doesn't have to be wider to show the uh, gear wheel. Any any of the uh, Gmail screens, if they don't show that, Gmail, that uh, settings gear wheel and you need it, you need to widen the window so it'll show that symbol and show the scroll bars. Okay, so let me show you the option to add a contact that will add contacts. It's a okay settings. Click settings. Go down to where it says. Create contacts for autocomplete. If you check, if this one is checked, and it is now, and I think I'm going to uncheck it. If this one is checked, whenever you send an email to somebody that's not in your contacts list, it will add that contact information to the other contacts list, so that when you start to type that name in the future, it can fill it in for you. That's what it uses the other contacts for, to fill in stuff that you're typing in the name field of the email address. So if if you wanted to do that, check that. I I read I looked it up on the internet and there's basically it's, a lot of people don't like that option. I, I think I think I'm one of them. I'm gonna turn that option off. So when when you type an email it won't automatically add that guy to your contacts list. But what you can do is if you've just read an email that you're gonna send the guy an email uh, on you can hover over that email and add it from there. That's the simplest way to handle that. And then you won't have to have Gmail automatically add contacts to your contacts list. It's safer to do it yourself. Okay, so that's how you do that. I want to go down and check Save Changes. Okay, the um, one more time on deleting. If 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 uh, you wanted to delete a contact, open the main contacts list and just check the boxes of everything you want to delete. Each contact you want to delete and then under more and there's an option to delete contact and I don't really want to do it so I'm not going to click it. Be sure and uncheck anything that you've checked and you've changed your mind on. Uncheck it. The next tutorial will show you how to manage spam emails to reduce the number that show up in your uh, inbox. You can't totally eliminate them but you can reduce the number. That's the end of this tutorial and thanks for watching.